grade two. So today we're going to be learning about fractions. Last year in grade one, can you remember learning anything about fractions? I remember learning about halves. Yeah, is there anything in particular about fractions? That two halves make a whole. Yeah, that two halves make a whole. That's fantastic. Now we're going to do an activity today and we're going to be learning further into fractions. We've got our pieces of paper in front of us here. So I want you to pick it up. I want you to put your fingers in the top of each corner and I want you to fold over so one finger touches another and then fold it down here so it makes a crease. That's perfect. So now if we open them up and we look at this piece of paper, was this piece of paper a whole? Yes, it is. Yes, and how many parts are in this piece of paper? It has two. So after learning about a half, what does this make? This makes a whole. Two halves make a whole. Perfect. So you've looked at your prior knowledge and understand that that's one half and that's one half and that equals a whole. That's yes. perfect. So you just told me that this paper is a whole and it has two halves. Yeah. Do you know what that looks like? No. No? So you don't know what the fraction looks like if it's written in a half? No. Okay, I'll show you it here. We put one at the top here, and that represents this one half. Okay. And we put a line here, and we put a two. This two represents the two parts of the whole. Okay. So if you did this side, what would that half look like? Um, a one, because this represents the one half of the whole. A line and a two because there's two parts. That's absolutely perfect. So we just learned about the half again. Now we're going to be learning about a different fraction. We're going to hold the piece of paper up again like we were before. We're going to fold it the same way as we folded it when we got the half. And we're going to fold it downwards and make it crease again like that. Good. Now we open them up. Now, is this piece of paper still a hole? Yes, it is. It's one hole. And how many parts are in my hole? Four. So four. there's four parts in this hole. Good work. So you just told me that this piece of paper is a hole and it now has four parts. After learning about how to write the fraction before, how do you think we would write it? Um, I think I know how to do that. Yeah, do you want to give it a try? Yeah. So why have you written it like that? Because this is the one part out of four. That's perfect. Do you want to finish off writing the rest of those? We've just learned about halves and one fourth. Now we're going to learn one step further than that. We're going to fold our piece of paper the same way we did before. And now we're going to fold it across this way like this. Yep, and we open them up. And is this piece of paper still a whole? Yes. Yes? Now, how many parts does this piece of paper now have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it has eight parts to the whole. Yes. After learning about the one fourth, what do you think we would call this if it has so If we looked at just one of those squares, one of those parts, what do you think we would call it? Maybe one eighth. That's absolutely perfect. Now you just told me that one of these squares is one eighth. Can you please write it for me? Um, I think I can. I think it's like that. Yeah. And why is it like that? Well, because this part is one out of the whole eight. That's perfect. So we just folded up paper that then represented fractions. Can you please point out the piece of paper that we folded into halves? This one. Perfect. Now after learning about how to write fractions, can you please write and colour in one half of that whole? 
can you please pull out and label and colour the piece of paper that you folded into the one fourth? Now we've got one more piece of paper left. What did we learn about this piece of paper and this fraction? Um, that it is eighths. Yeah, can you please label and colour in one eighth for me? So we learnt about basic fractions today. Can you tell me anything new that you learnt? Uh, I learnt that a whole can be separated into different parts and depending how many parts it's separated makes a fraction. That's perfect. Good work.